Hello everyone, we're here at the Cinemild garage and we're staring at the Cinemild race car because we're getting ready to pre-rig this race car for us to go on the racetrack and do a cool shoot with our new action arm. And as you can see here on the, on the boot here, we got most of our full line of vehicle products that we're about to come out with. And right now I wanna to talk to you about our new Houdini swivel speed rail clamp. So there you have it. This is our swivel Houdini clamp, speed rail clamp. And as you can see, you can adjust it to any angle that you want. And essentially it's just one uh, clamping bolt and it tightens all of the halves together at the same time. So essentially you put this on your speed rail, you move the speed rail to the position that you want. It could be any angle, obviously, since it freely swivels. And then you go in and we used a very big bolt and a stainless steel, very high grade, so you can put a lot of pressure on it. And once you have the angle you want on the speed rail, you just tighten the heck out of this and you will have a virtually uh, play-free speed rail connection um, in any angle. And so one of the things we did with these clamps is uh, we figured, hell, you know, you might want to use this as a mounting point for something you're doing. And so we added a 3 8 uh, thread to uh, the corners of the clamp so that you can maybe triangulate and rig something off of it. You know, I find myself, if any place that I can put a, uh, a baby pin and that maybe I can add an additional brace to that baby pin is helpful. Um, this might also provide you with a mounting point for something else. And so, you know, that is a cool feature right there. We also have threads on the sides there that you maybe, maybe, uh, you can use for something. And, um, you know, basically here we have it on our 10 inch section cup. And, um, as you can see here, we have our, our speed rail starter right there. And, um, you can see here, we preset the angle we wanted. Um, for the speed roll we're going to be using and then you just take the one wrench right there and as you tighten this It applies pressure on all of the speed rail tubes at the same time So we use a very big high-grade stainless steel bolt so that you can apply a lot of pressure to it and um, You know be confident in your rigging so you know along with the Houdini speed rail clamp that is fixed that has the steel pins you know, I use those for any sort of 90 or 45 degree connections. And then where I have to, I use the swiveling uh, Houdini. And, uh, you know, all together with our suction cups and, you know, our, our pipe starter system, this really become, starts to become a complete ecosystem for you to safely rig your car and go shoot. Basically, you're gonna wanna loosen the bolt so you can get loosen it enough so you can get both of the the speed rails through the clamps and so actually you can let's lay that in there and so I'm going to want to run this like this like that and um, whoops all right so I have it very loose to make my job really easy so you know I'm actually going to mount this as far down as I can um, just because it, it provides less leverage right so here we go by, you know, I only have to use one bolt. And so I'm going to hold the clamp together like that in position where I want to get it a little bit lower. And so once it's, you know, slightly in position, I'm just going to snug it up. So I don't want to go too tight on it right now because I still have a lot of rigging to do down here. I need to secure the lower part of the speed rail. So actually we want to leave this just slightly, you know, put a little bit of drag on there so it's not flopping around, but we can rig the bottom part. I hope you enjoyed that detailed look and got a much better insight in all the different ways you can use our vehicle rigging products. You know, they're all, they all have lots of different ways they interact with each other 
and different, you know, we try to make them smart and a little bit smarter than all the other things out there. Um, as you can see here, we're fully rigged up and ready to go shoot on the racetrack. You know, part of the reason why I look to come up with better versions of things I'm using is because I'm out there shooting and I cannot wait to get this car out there on the racetrack get our action arm mounted up on the on the cinnamon truck and go chase this down and get some cool footage and you know as you can see here we use the six inch suction cup the four and a half the 10 inch you know both of the houdini uh speed rail clamps and uh you know and we're even working on a lot of other things to completely cover all the bases when it comes to rigging cameras on a vehicle rigging gimbals onto vehicles and you know you name it we got the isolation mount coming out we got the action arm you know so it's not just vehicle rigging we got a couple of really cool mounts on the way as well so you know if you want to see more of course follow or like comment subscribe click on the little bell icon and get notified when we have new videos coming up on our youtube channel um you know absolutely Check us out and like us on Facebook. There's a couple of groups that we uh, were participate in and we administer uh, on Facebook. One of them is the Vehicle Rigging and Camera Car Group. And it's a very big group, lots of grips in there. And if you buy some of our products and you start to do your own rig on, 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 your, on your vehicle or on your client's vehicle, you know, take pictures, post on there, share. People give you tips like, oh, you should probably run that extra tube. You should brace it like this. You did a good job, all that sort of stuff. You can search through and see all the different rigs other people are doing. So that Facebook group is really great. And, you know, of course, we got the Cinemilled user group. So if you have specific questions about our products, you know, everybody on there are Cinemilled customers and they can help you out. They've probably encountered the same problem or challenge that you're facing. But yeah, so I'm really excited to get this thing going. And I hope you are too. I hope you're getting ready to, you know, fill your shopping cart full of these clamps and all of our suction cups because as you can see, it takes multiple, you know. You need more, a couple of each at least. And, you know, when it comes to the speed rail clamps, you need quite a few. But, you know, it's, you're gonna buy this once in your career and you're gonna be, you know, this stuff doesn't wear out. So you're gonna be using these for the next 20, 30 years uh, until you don't want to see cameras in front of you anymore. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this video and, uh, for following us and I'll see you on set.